All right, time for another featured specimen today. This is our specimen and pretty cool. Uh, this one's got some weight to it because it's rather large as you can see. Uh, I really like this one because, particularly because of those, uh, the, the coloration in between the, on these planes, on these crystal faces, you can see that. And the nice thing is, is that actually hints at the uh, crystal shape, which hints at what mineral this might be. We've seen this before here at Let's Go Geo in a couple different forms. Um, but again, I just really like this particular sample. Um, so I'll try to show a couple different perspectives of it. A little bit of glare there. I don't have a lot of sun today, so uh, you would see a little more shimmer there. That's a nice fairly flat face there that you're looking at. There we go. Okay, so let's look at that. You can see a lot of lines and scratches on it. And this is a fairly soft mineral. So let that all be your hint. Um, the coloration can be a little tricky. This one can have different impurities that bring about different colors. In fact, this mineral can be found in varieties that, you know, have a pinkish hue, tan. There goes my rock hound. He's a, a bird hounding right now, chasing a bird. Um, yeah, pinkish, kind of purplish hues, tans, uh, even really pretty brown tones that I've found, um, white, and crystal clear. I mean, some of them almost look like ice cubes. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of variety. Some other tinges that come about. Um, this one's actually kind of a milky white for the most part, despite some of the other colorations that you're seeing. Um, so... Those are your hints so far. So, as usual, at this point, if you have a good guess at what you think it is, drop it in the comments. Help the video along. Um, see if you can make a good guess. I'll show you a few more perspectives. Look at that. That's pretty cool in the back there. The way you just have like a little um, crystal jutting out there. Sometimes they do this uh, where they'll almost be... Uh, like jutting out of the middle of a crystal face or a perpendicular and they make some really cool patterns that I like. So there's a good perspective too. That's typically how you'll find it breaking. And these almost stair-stepped patterns there. Yeah. Okay. So what we have here is this fairly soft mineral is calcite. This is calcite. And the, the big hint there was the crystal shape there. Calcite is uh, known for these rhombohedral crystals and you can kind of see them there and this is a big block. So if I were to hit this with a hammer, um, I would they, it would break apart in that manner and we could get individual ROMs out of it. Uh, now, I did talk about calcite a little more. Um, I've done a whole video just on calcites. So if you want to learn more about the properties and really get into calcite, that's available in the minerals playlist. I also do a whole bunch of other minerals there um, and some comparisons. So if you want to understand how you can tell the difference between things like calcite and uh, gypsum and quartz and some of the somewhat look-alike or minerals that you might get it confused with or find in the field. Uh, yeah, I do some videos on that too so you can compare them. And I show some hand samples. So check that out if you want to learn more about minerals. Uh, if you're just getting started on rock hounding, then definitely check out some of my intro beginner rock hounding stuff here. And that'll really help you get started, get yourself a handy field guide. And of course, join me on the next adventure. I'll be doing more featured Friday specimens from my collection and from the field. We'll take a look at a lot of cool samples uh, just to get you excited about these possibilities and then get you familiar with some of the other things that I'll be talking about here on the channel. We'll go on some field adventures again soon here at Let's Go Geo. So I'll see you guys on the next adventure.